Hello everyone, the slideshow intro which you just saw has been created in Filmora and in this video I will show you how you can create it too for your YouTube channel. So let's get started. To create this slideshow intro, I have imported 20 images into Filmora. I will select all of these images and then I will drag them on the timeline. I will make sure that the auto ripple button here is turned on. Then with all these images selected, I will click on duration and here I will change the duration to 0.05 seconds. Now I will zoom in on the timeline to have a better view. Now with all these images selected, I will right click on them and I will click on this option called crop to fit to make sure that this images completely cover the frame. Now with all these images selected, I will again right click on them and this time I will click on copy. So basically I have copied this group of images and I will paste them twice on the same track to increase the duration of my intro. So I will bring my playhead at the end here and then with this track selected I will press Ctrl V. If you are on a Mac press Command V to paste this then I will paste this one more time. Now I will go to stock media. Then here in the solid color I will drag the black color on the timeline and I will place it on track number 2. Then I will go to titles. From here I will drag the default title on the timeline. I will place it on track number 3. I will double click on this title and I will customize it as per my liking. I will choose a bold font like impact. I will choose a font size of around 100 and I will click on OK. Now I will take a snapshot of this title by clicking here on the snapshot button. Now I will delete the media files which are on the upper two tracks, we don't need them anymore. Now I will bring the snapshot here on the track above my photos and here let's zoom out a little bit. I will increase the duration of this snapshot here to match the duration of the photos below. Now I will double click on the snapshot. With the playhead at the beginning of the snapshot I will add a keyframe for scale. Then I will bring this playhead to the end of the snapshot. And here I will change the scale value to 200. Now I will scroll down here to go to the compositing menu. Here in the blending mode I will choose multiply. I will click on ok. So our final video is ready. Let's render this and then review how this looks. So this looks nice isn't it? But you can make it look more amazing by adding a sound effect to this. If you want, you can use a sound effect of your own choice, but if you want to use the sound effect which you saw in the intro of this video, I have given the link of that in the description. You can download it from there. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, do hit the like button and please share your views in the comment section. I really look forward to them. Thank you so much.